Hello everybody and welcome to our talks for today. Our reading um, over the next few days is going to be 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 1 through to the end of chapter 4. And as usual, you can pause the recording at this point and look it up on your own Bibles. You can pick it up on the, the references up on the parish newsletter or the Church of England website or our own website or you can download it from your daily prayer app if you have a smartphone. I wonder if you've ever heard the phrase, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Now, I'm not sure if that's always the case necessarily, but certainly most of us will understand the sentiment involved as we think of loved ones who are far distant from us physically, and we miss them very much. In our First Thessalonians readings today, the Apostle Paul is physically distant from the Thessalonians and their absence seems to give them a great fondness for them. However, there's something that's keeping both sides near to one another in spirit and that, of course, is their mutual faith. They're united in Christ, in faith and the persecution that was happening to them just simply seemed to be the order of the day when Paul was writing. As a result of their mutual faith, they have mutually encouraged one another through the difficult times. And of course, this has led to actions and a change of life, as well as a love for one another in the church. I think this is one of the main things that we can learn from this short book. And by the way, can I encourage you at some point to sit down and read the whole of First Thessalonians just when you can. It certainly won't take you very long. And if you do that, I think one of the words that you will see coming out very clearly in this book is that little word, encourage. Their mutual faith helps them to encourage one another, both in the good times and in the difficult times. My prayer is that as we go through these difficult times in our own lives, that we will encourage one another in our faith, whether we are physically near to one another, whether we are social distancing, whether we're not sure about the future in terms of churches being opened or closed, or whether we are simply apart for many miles. Let's remember that what brings us near to one another is much stronger than that which separates us. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your encouragement to us. And we pray, Lord, that in return, we would encourage one another through our faith, through our love, through our desire to be like you and to encourage other people in love and in mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Goodbye, everybody, and thank you for listening.